So I found Ruby Rose in the most feminine, girly position that I could possibly find her in. Is this like compromising material, compromising footage? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so embarrassed when I look so feminine because I just feel like I'm going to make other women feel uncomfortable with how masculine they are. Um, yeah, you're making me really uncomfortable right now, Ruby. All he can. All right. No, you know what it is? I, uh, I'm here for Maybelline, obviously, for the whole week. So I'm doing 17 shows. And most of the shows, I will wear a dress, you know, Tony Matuszewski and... Like, uh, you know, we're, we're handsome. Like, all these great designers have these fantastic outfits for me. And then the show that I'm going to tonight is a swimwear show. Okay. And so the options you are... You use a swim? Right. It's, it's, it's dress yourself or, you know, sit in front row in your... Haven't been to the gym in six months body uh, with no tan and watch, you know, swim models walk past and have people go, why, why are you in your bikini? So uh, I dress myself and... I just love Maybelline because they're always like, do what you want. And I, I said to my boss, Georgia, I'm like, so you know Justin Bieber's coming tonight? She's like, yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. She's like, I'm looking for Bieber right now. She's like, is Selena here? I'm like, couldn't make it. I'm the fill-in. I'm Selena's fill-in. Yeah. But we've got Ruben here. And show the piece to your grill. So why, what's with the grill? Why are we wearing a grill right now? Well, I have a two-piece. I have the top and the bottom, but it gives me a gnarly lisp. And there is nothing gangster about being like, suck a ring, suck a pass. <laughs> Um, I love grills, but I did that like before Katie, before Madonna's. Madonna's kind of creeped me out, even though I'm a huge fan. Um, I did it, I don't know why, I just, I never had braces. Okay. I never had a plate. You feel like you missed out on something there? I feel like I missed out, and I was like, get a grill. Okay. But I also have a complex, you know, I have a massive complex in the white girl syndrome. White girl problems. I was talking to Yaya, who's one of the, the black models here, who's actually on the face, which I didn't know. She's like Team Cheyenne or something, and I thought I discovered her. So I, I met her backstage, and I was like, you need to be international. Like, you are amazing. She's like, oh, my God, can I have a photo with you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But on Instagram, she's like already famous. Has yeah, like heaps of followers. She's like on her way to international, and she's on that show. You can claim that you discovered her. But I'm like, I'll manage you. And, uh, and then I was, she goes, I love your hair. And I'm like, dude, I love your hair. Like, she's got this amazing fro that's kind of done in that real, like, um, uh, what's up? From the, from the 70s, 80s. That woman, Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Major Grace Jones hair. And I was like, you know, I love your hair. And she's like, girl, I feel like you've got white girl problems. Yeah. And I, I was like, I don't know what, yes, I, I do. Really do. And then I was walking before inside, and she's the one that ran up to me and was like, oh, girl, no. And I was like, I can't help it. It's totally happening. Yeah. Well, speaking of mobile, you do a lot of uh, philanthropy now, right? I do, which sounds so wrong with my grilling. <laughs> but um, I do. Uh, my fiance uh, has a clothing line called Fair Cloth Clothing. Okay. And for every outfit that people buy, they, she donates two uniforms to a girls in Nepal. And in Nepal, you can't go to school without a school uniform. And, but, and that seems so silly and tiny, but like, they can't afford them. Yeah. So those girls get forced into sex trafficking at a really young age. So her and I are visiting Kenya, Cambodia, and Nepal this year. And doing, uh, we're doing a mixture of like teaching them English, teaching them about sex, sex trafficking, um, and also building. Because I like using my hands and doing the physical labor as well. And then next year, we'll start planning the wedding. Okay, okay, so let's talk about that. Congratulations, firstly. How exciting. Yeah, so totes in love and stuff. Good. <laughs> I like it choked up. I'm so in love, it's disgusting. Like, I'm, I want to vomit on myself. I've never been, like, as in love with anyone in my life. And I, I think that, like, last year was a tough year for me. I took a year out, and I had, like, bad, bad depression. And I think that learning how to love myself, and it sounds so cliche, but I, I really get it now. I, like... I, everyone loves me when I couldn't. Maybelline loved me. My fans loved me. My friends, my family, they loved me when I hated myself for no reason. And then I came out the other end, and I was like, "No, I love myself. Like, I'm, okay, I'm yeah. okay. I'm okay. I'm not a bad person." And once I started to like myself, I like was inviting really good people into my life. You started resonating at that level and that frequency, and they're the people that you draw in now. Yeah. And then she loved me, and I was like, "Yeah, I can do this. I can have you love me. I'm down." So what advice have you got for all the kids? Because I suffered a similar sort of depression. And, you know, you wake up and you look in the mirror and you hate yourself. And people can't really believe it, but, like, it's true. So hate. Such hate for no reason. Just be easy. Be kind to yourself. Be easy on yourself. And, like, just remember, like, especially as women, well, and boys as well, but a lot of it's hormones, a lot of it's, you know, diet. I, you know, if you, you're someone that's prone to depression or just being hard on yourself, like, drinking, drugs, like, these things are not going to be at work. Any stimulant, coffee, like, you gotta kind of pull back on it. Um, and if you're feeling shitty, like go and see someone, talk to someone, you know, that's like the most important thing.